Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. Hello, everyone. This is Danny Lambert with Plush Republic Digital Marketing and Business Process Automation. I'm going to run you through a quick time saver today. Uh, if you blog and you're in the content marketing sphere, you know how much of a hassle it can be to then create all the social posts for the content that you're generating. Um, so using Zapier, your blog RSS feed, and whatever social profiles you want, uh, you can automate those posts when your blog content goes live. So you can see behind here, I'm logged into Zapier. If you don't have a Zapier account, you can set one up. Uh, this is free. They have a free starter plan, and um, you can go on to some other different, more robust plans depending on your usage. Um, so you'd have to sign up for one of those. And the way that I use it, I would also use Buffer just so I get additional uh, analytics. This is a Buffer tutorial, but you could also just use Zapier to post directly to the individual platforms. And when I get to that point, I'll show you the difference. Uh, so you'll come in here, and you'll click Make a Zap. From here, I'm going to want to add my blog RSS feed because the trigger for this is every time I post something new. And I apologize for my dog here. He just really loves the attention. Uh, so I'll search for RSS, and I'll get RSS by Zapier. I'll come in here, and I'll have to select the new item to a feed. This is just saying when you add a new item to your RSS feed or your blog, essentially. When you click through, it's going to ask for your feed URL. If you're not familiar with how to find this, go to your blog. This is my blog, Plush Republic. Uh, you come in here, you can see all the tutorials that we've created as well as some other good digital marketing content. You're going to want to inspect the page. Do Command F and search RSS. From here, you can find the URL, and this is my uh, blog RSS feed URL. To see what that would look like, you can put it into the bar and you'll see that it just pulls up all of my uh, blog posts in this format. So I click it and put it right in that feed URL box there. Uh, if you have a username and password, you would put that in here, but since I don't, I won't. I'm going to minimize the screen because it's getting in the way here. I'm going to click continue. Now I want you to test this. Uh, and you just click fetch and continue. This is just confirming that you have uh, content in that RSS feed. So that's all set up. This is the next stage where I mentioned you can either do platform direct or you can go through Buffer. So I prefer to use Buffer because I like the analytics, but if I did want to post to just Twitter or Facebook, you can do that here. So I click through the Buffer, and I can either add it to a schedule, and I can schedule it for a specific time, but I prefer to add to my Buffer queues. So I'll click this. And continue. It'll make you connect an account. Mine's already connected, but that's a very easy authorization process. You just type in your username and password if you're not familiar with Zapier, and you would connect your account there. So I continue on, and it will add my profiles. These are the different uh, profiles for my Plush Republic pages across platforms, uh, and I just added those into Buffer, and they pull automatically into here. So if I wanted to post to Twitter, I would select Twitter and I would put what I want. So if it's for the new post, it brings in all the different variables from my RSS feed. So say I want my title, and I want to add the URL. That's all I'd have to do. The rest of these are optional. Uh, if you want it to go to the top of your buffer queue, you would select this. If you want to post immediately, you would click this. That's all preferential. And then a photo URL, again, that's optional information. So at this point, it would go through another uh, test, but I'm going to skip that. And that's all there is to it. I would have to name my zap, say RSS to Twitter. Uh, maybe put buffer in there so you know. And then once I set that live, all of my new content in my blog feed is automatically going to post to Twitter. You can just add multiple steps with multiple different social platforms if you want. I could have add to buffer Twitter, add to buffer Facebook, I could have the individual platforms. Uh, it's really up to you. The, the options are pretty much endless here. So if you have any questions, feel free to shoot me an email at daniel.lambert at plushrepublic.com or visit our website, plushrepublic.com. Thank you guys for your time, and I hope you liked the video. Oh, this you crazy mother...